Hey, Snackers, this is Kareem Iskander. Hey, everyone, Matt DiNapoli here. Welcome to episode 166 of Snack Minute. And uh, this week we have our benevolent benefactor on with us to talk about um, some of the new things coming from learning and certifications. Uh, Bar, if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself for our new Snackers, um, and then we'll jump right into it. Absolutely. My name is Par Marat. I'm the Vice President of Learning at Cisco and happy to be here. Good to have you on, Par. Uh, I know we um, last time we had you on the show, we were talking about AI and what AI is doing to our industry and how you know we got to adapt and what does it mean for the network engineer. And I wanted to pick up this episode to kind of follow up to see where we are from an LLC perspective for our snackers and focus on the skills. Um, you know, I know you said AI is, is transforming industries uh, in an unprecedented pace. And I wanted to ask you how essential are technical skills now with AI in play? Great, great question and very topical. Uh, we are definitely now in an AI powered world. And if we look at you know, how we got here, um, you know, AI, which we've talked about before as well, it's not new. It's something that Cisco has been using in uh, our products for some time. But, you know, for those of you who are interested, AI was actually introduced all the way back in the 50s. <laughs> in the 80s, there was a refocus on it, and there was a lot of work done around machine learning, deep learning, and neural networks. And that led to a ton of progress uh, in natural language processing, which of course Cisco has offers and solutions around. But the recent boom has really been a result of advances in computing power and the availability of massive amounts of data, data, data everywhere, right? And this has led to algorithmic improvements as well as just taking all of that Power and all of the information, all of the data and the strength and breadth and embedding it into applications. How do we use it? So AI has now become this horizontal enabling layer across everything. And it is absolutely revolutionizing industries and it's driving unprecedented economic growth. Uh, as you can see, according to McKinsey, there is probably about $4.4 trillion in play and available. And people and companies are going after that. And because of that, because this is all technology-based, skills and technical skills are now absolutely as vital as basic literacy. And that is a, a, a requirement to be able to participate in the workforce. So from Cisco's perspective, as part of our purpose, it has never been more critical to connect the unconnected and make sure that we, are, we provide that opportunity for inclusivity in the world. What's changed is for those already in the workforce, upskilling and reskilling become critical uh, in order to ensure that individuals can continue to participate in the digital economy. And this is where technology is requiring everyone to become lifelong students. And according to the International Labor Organization, nations that are prioritizing technical talent and that enablement are going to be the leaders in the global economy. So it is clear AI is now ubiquitous. Uh, I would say think of it as electricity and how you need electricity to run across entire infrastructures, that's the same way to look at secure networks. And this is really why it is so important. And this is our charter um, of how we enable individuals and organizations to be able to participate in this AI-powered world through the digital economy. And we understand that at LNC as well, right, Par, because we... Uh, we have our content, we tailor our content based on the individual and their skills from entry to expert, right? And so snackers today out there in, uh, on, you, on Cisco U, you can go out, take uh, you know, a set of tutorials centric around AI to get you started with what's AI, how does it work, what's RAG, um, what's, what is, what's the infra infrastructure needed in order to deploy these AI agents and workloads Meanwhile, for those who are coming from kind of a, 
a networking background that have been doing a lot of uh, deployment configuration and you're looking to tailor the AI infrastructure for what you're doing, we have an entire new brand new learning path out there today um, around our uh, CCDE uh, design, expert level design certification for the AI. So um, all of that is is there and, and, and LNC is there for you to basically hold your hand throughout that kind of uh, evolution of, uh, of tech uh, that we're seeing. That's right. Yeah, Kareem, you talked about, um, you know, network engineers upscale, or pardon, you both talked about this, upskilling and reskilling. Can you um, talk about how LNC kind of helps engineers from the the kind of multiple stages of their career and all the content available and, and things that, that kind of walk them through this? Well, I'm doing this foundational material and now I'm adding these abstraction layers on top and I really need to understand how this stuff works. Can you get, can you dive into that a little bit? Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to it from, again, the lens of the industry. So as all of this change in the pace is, is happening, we know that we need to enable not only those in the workforce, but also those coming into the workforce. And so we have formally um, merged with a, a program called Net Academy. And I know many of our community have started in Net Academy. So Learning in Cisco has now merged with Net Academy to provide a entry to expert full curriculum. Uh, you know, keep in mind there are five generations in the workforce today, too. So all at differing uh, levels of skills, all with different preferences of how they want to learn and where they want to learn. And so what we're doing is we're enabling both the current and the future workforce with the skills that they're going to need to be successful, to, to understand networking, AI, the convergence of security with networking. And so in this whole constant change, we have to really focus on what that continuum is. And that is where our partnership with Net Academy, it is the longest standing IT to uh, skills to jobs program in the industry. We are concentrating on our curriculum, updating our certifications using AI uh, to be able to scan massive amounts of data and understand the trends that are forthcoming and what is gonna be there for the skills, what training do we need to provide, what is the training that we need to include, and what is the proficiency that we need to demonstrate with our certifications. That is a huge focus of ours and creating this vibrant ecosystem to be able to take it to market so that people have choice in where they get their skills, how they're able to access those, that skill enablement. And then of course, uh, the proof point through the proficiency of our, our certifications is a key differentiator of, of how Cisco approaches uh, the market as it relates to skills and really the value and the power of what our, uh, what learning at Cisco, this new partnership and this new continuum bring to bear. This is really important because I remember, I, I remember Matt, when we were, um, what, seven years ago, six years ago, we were going back to talking about automation and, and kind of evangelizing DevNet. Um, it was really, really important what we learned is to, to have that entry level to expert content and, um, and learning labs and, and demos and, and everything that we, we did uh, for our community to be able to adopt and adapt to automation um, and what's coming down the pipeline. And I think this is just, this is another wave that, that's coming and we have to approach it very similar to that. Yeah, I agree with you, Kareem. Um, I've been seeing this whole evolution um, actually more of a, a revolution, we can say, but I'm seeing this very similar to the adoption of APIs within the infrastructure space, right? Um, you know, API adoption at the software level had existed for a long time, but actually talking about programmability and automation um, for our network engineers, our infrastructure engineers at that point in time was was wholly new. And it's refreshing to see that the same kind of engagement that we had with uh, Netacad um, at that time is being brought to bear with the same layer of care and concern as we move into this next evolutionary, revolutionary opportunity with AI. 
I would say a key difference because we were all in that DevNet evolution, the, the movement that we created together. What I see is the key difference between 10 years ago when that started and now is that was us driving that True. momentum. I there was a need, there was, right, there was automation that had come to bear. Software-defined networks was still a new concept. AI is here. And as I, you know, mentioned, it is revolutionizing industries. It is now, you know, uh, synonymous with the electricity. It's, it's running on our networks. We surveyed our, our CCIEs probably about six months ago. And 90% of them came back to us and said they're already seeing strain on their networks due to AI. Yeah. And we don't have 10 years. We need to provide those skills and access to the skills uh, at AI pace, right? And, and that's where the partnership that we have with DevNet, the merging with Net Academy, we're able to bring all of these tools and all of this enablement together to our community as well as working with governments and organizations. Uh, and we do that really well and we know how to do that. And now we're all in this together. Yeah, that's an amazing point, uh, Par. And I hadn't really thought of it that way. So um, it, it makes a ton of sense that we're kind of being a little bit nudged in, in that direction. Um, but it, it does seem like, at least um, from the learning and certification side, the Cisco side, and even in DevNet, um, we're really taking that uh, very seriously in saying this is something we want to help our customers and partners and our learners with. And so, um, you know, as we kind of come to the end of, of our conversation here, can you um, provide one thing for our viewers that they should start to do today to advance their journey with learning and certifications and also that that portion, that AI portion that we've been talking about today? Yeah, I think I think um, you know, Corinne can also demonstrate talk to and and provide the detail on it, but we came out with some tutorials uh last in Amsterdam um at Cisco Lag. So it's interesting That's that we're going to be coming up on the full year and we provided that hands-on no-cost tutorials. Here's how AI has been leveraged in Cisco. Here's the skills that you need to start acquiring. Uh, and we have progressed significantly and we're about to, we've added other tutorials, but now we're about to come out with a full blown learning path. So Kareem, I'm going to ask you to provide some detail on that. Yeah, definitely part of the uh, spot on with the, with the tutorials. We, uh, you know, we, we walk you through what is AI in general. Uh, we talk to you about prompt engineering. Um, how to become a better prompt engineer. Then we talk to you about what is AI um, for what does AI mean for, for that network engineer, right? So your role is a network engineer, an infrastructure engineer. What does that mean to you and how is it going to transform, not from an operator perspective, but more from the load on the network, which goes back to the, the comments our CCIEs and the feedback that we're getting from our CCIEs is they're, they're seeing change and loads and loads of um, demand on their network. So what does that mean to you and the 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 purpose of these tutorials is to give you kind of a this bite-sized learning uh, where you can go do something for 45 minutes to 30 minutes and then lead you to our bigger investments. And, and this is where, you know, the learning path that we just recently released, that learning full-blown learning path is all around AI infrastructure. Um, the, the design of that learning path is around uh, and, and attached to the... Uh, CCDE uh, AI infrastructure elective that that we have for you out there. So if this is something from a design perspective you're pursuing, that learning path will kind of guide you through that. We'll take you through AI workloads in general. Uh, we'll we'll dive into you know what are the pieces of AI. So kind of that top from application level all the way down to the infrastructure, so you could understand uh, what is AI workload. Right, and what does it mean? And <laughs> we talk about it, but what does it mean from an infrastructure perspective? So um, it's all out there today. Uh, the learning path is uh, is a portion of it is released as of this um, episode. Uh, we are continuing adding to uh, that learning path, so you'll see a part two of that learning path very soon. Uh, but uh, make sure to just keep your eye out on uh, u.cisco.com for for all the great goodness that we have for you. Yeah. The other piece we should probably spend a moment on is 
when we talk about this new AI learning path, and we, we had talked about automation and what we did together with DevNet, this is also an extension of that because this pertains to DevOps. It pertains to another buzzwords that is out there, AI ops. So all of these skills intersect in, in multiple ways. And so we are continuing, you know, our focus again is on skill enablement for our community, which includes cyber, which includes AI, which includes DevOps, automation. You know, AI is really automation in practice. So we, we don't want to lose sight of that. We don't want to tell our community, well, go and learn this and you don't need to, like AI is not going to do all of this on its own. Yeah. And it's really good for um, learners and organizations to understand where those things intersect and where the insertion points are for AI within their operational processes, whether it be at the infrastructure layer or the DevOps layer. Um, there's opportunities for that insertion at each point. Um, and it's helpful to understand, I think, for the infrastructure engineers, not just the, um, you know, the compute and the networking and the storage ramifications of, of AI workloads, but then how we can leverage the tooling as we move up the stack. And that part is very valuable um, across all kinds of organizations, whether they be, you know, small or large enterprise organizations. Having that understanding can help them uh, leverage this revolutionary technology more efficiently um, and understand where they can take advantage of it, um, hopefully from a, a, a Cisco perspective, but, you know, from a broad tech technology perspective as well. I was just going to double down on that and, and kind of tie it back to Cisco U as well, because what Cisco U has is not only Cisco technology, but it has all of the adjacent skill enablement that are needed to be successful in all of those areas that you just covered. So again, kind of what Cisco, what learning in Cisco, what certifications is doing to ensure our community is successful, we are really hubbing it within Cisco U. There's also a part too, because, and I know we need to wrap it up, but uh, <laughs> we we have, we We're also just gonna have, go on and on. We, we understand that not everybody, not everyone is in their kind of their career and they've started playing with AI. We understand there's early in career that are part of our community. Yeah. And on that note, Kareem, you are correct. We do need to wrap it up, unfortunately. Par, obviously, we could talk to you for hours. Uh, we really appreciate you coming back on Snack Minute and sharing what's going on with learning and certifications and how um, holistically uh, you guys are approaching uh, this new world and how everything is moving in, in the direction of AI. Uh, snackers, uh, thank you again for joining us and we'll see you guys next time. Par, it's a pleasure to have you on and thank you, Snackers. Great being here. Thank you.